The state's two best teams in Class 2A feature two great running backs, the much-heralded Cedric Dickens of Quanah and little-known Andre Holman of Corgan. Well, after the Bulldogs' 35-14 win, those roles had reversed. Holman strikes the first blow in this super back showdown, a 63-yarder that puts the Bulldogs on top early and establishes Andre as the man to stop. Yeah, I felt like it was going to be my night because it seemed like they didn't want it too bad and uh, we was already getting hyped up and ready for the game. It was his night all right, four touchdowns, 266 yards rushing on 20 carries the third highest total ever in a state championship game. Andre's that type of back. He has great peripheral vision. He follows his blockers well. Our offensive line and tight ends were just blocking extremely well. And every yard counted. Each big run took a big chunk out of the Indians. Andre was the emotional leader on this night, and the crowd could sense the dream of a state championship drawing closer with every carry. Whenever we kind of got down or anything, he hit the big play, and uh, he really killed them. They'd, get, they'd score, and they'd be up, and then he'd break the big run, and then break their back. As for Dickens, he finishes with 102 yards on the evening. Commendable, but not spectacular. No, this was Andre's night, providing the most touching moment of the evening as he was carried off the field late in the fourth. Being a running back, you know you're going to take some good shots. and uh, You just got to get up and come on and carry your load because, you know, they're trying to block for you. He took some shots but delivered some too, putting the best hit of the night on his counterpart. I don't even think he thought I can do that, but, uh, you know, because he's leading Russia and I'm just a junior, and he didn't think I could do stuff like that, so I had to show him a little bit. Perhaps no one outside of the Corgan faithful believed the Bulldogs could do what they did, but as the final gun sounded, there was no doubt who the best back was or who the best team was. From Dallas, Craig Cecil, East Texas Sports. A year to remember, indeed. We'll talk more about it uh, tomorrow. One final look, and uh, I guess when we can cash football, except for the Oilers, out of the way until until next year. I really like that crowd that showed up. Oh, that a game. great support by the Corgan uh, Camden folks. Their whole side was packed, so they had a good ball game. Thank you, Rob.